In this training aid, we will look at how to measure distance on a map. There are a number of methods that can be used to estimate and measure distance, with varying degrees of accuracy. The least accurate, yet simplest method, is estimating the distance by using the map's grid lines. The grid lines on all Ordnance Survey and most military maps are 1 km apart and 1.5 km corner to corner, and as such a quick estimate can be obtained by using these guidelines. For example, the distance between points A and B is approximately 4 km, and the distance between points C and D is approximately 3 km. However, this method should only be used as a quick estimation of distance, and other methods should be used when a more precise measurement is required. For example, to measure the distance between these two points, line up the edge of your lightweight compass, protractor or ruler, and read off the distance, in this case 7 cm. Then, place your ruler onto the map scale, and convert this into a distance on the ground, in this case 3.5 km. A variation of this method is to use a piece of paper and marking on the paper the distance between the two points. Then the paper can be placed against the map scale bar to measure the distance. The paper method can also be used to measure a distance which is not over a straight line for example, along a road or river. To do this, consider for example this road as a number of straight or nearly straight sections. Lay the piece of paper along the first section and mark the paper at both the starting point and end of the first section. Now, pivot the paper around this second mark until it lies along the second section. Mark the end of the second section and repeat this process until the last point is marked. This has now given you the total distance recorded on a straight piece of paper, which can be read off against the scale bar on the map. For this example, the distance between the two points is 4 kilometers. It is important to be aware that distances measured on a map are flat or as the crow flies, which do not take account of the slopes and contours of the ground. Therefore, any calculation of distance or duration for a proposed journey must also factor in the shape of the ground.